House Judiciary Committee Chairman Bob Goodlack and Representative Trey Grouty on Tuesday demanded the appointment of a special counsel to investigate conflicts of interest and decisions made and not made by current and former Justice Department officials in 2016 and 2017, noting that the public interest requires the action. Trey Grouty and Bob Goodlack penned a, penned a letter Tuesday to Attorney General Jeff Sessions and Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. Matters have arisen, both recently and otherwise, which necessitate the appointment of a special counsel. We do not make this observation and attendant request lightly, Gowdy and Gulak wrote. In an exclusive interview with Fox News, Gowdy and Gulak spoke about the discovery of new information as a reasoning behind calling a second special independent counsel. What changed for me was the knowledge that there are two dozen witnesses that Michael Horowitz the DOJ Inspector General would not have access to, Gowdy said. When I counted up to 24 witnesses they would not be able to access were he to investigate it, yeah, only one conclusion, that's, that's special counsel. That list of witnesses included former FBI Director James Comey, Trey Gowdy confirmed. Last week, Sessions announced that Horowitz would investigate allegations of government surveillance abuse in light of memos released on Capitol Hill by the House Intelligence Committee which suggested, at least on the Republican side, that the dossier compiled by ex-UK intelligence officer Christopher Steele was used to obtain a FISA warrant to surveil former Trump campaign advisor Carter Page. Absolutely, this whole FISA warrant was on Carter Page, Gowdy told Fox News. Good luck agreed, stating that the, that the case on which the, the warrant was built was highly suspect. The lawmakers wrote, there's evidence of bias trending towards animus among those charged with investigating serious cases. They added, there's evidence political opposition research was used in court filings. There's evidence this political opposition research was neither vetted before it was used, nor fully revealed to the, rel the relevant tribunal. Both lawmakers said they didn't know when or if a special counsel would be appointed at all. This fact pattern is unique and compelling, and I think he really ought to consider it, Trey Gowdy said. Asked why special counsel was needed, Trey Gowdy told Fox News earlier, Congress doesn't have the tools to investigate this. We leak like gossip girls. Trey Gowdy and Bob Goodluck wrote that because, this, because the decisions of both former and current Department of Justice and FBI officials are at issue, they do not believe the DOJ was capable of investigating the fact patterns in the fashion that likely to garner public confidence. Both Trey Gowdy and Bob Goodlack have announced in recent months they would not seek re-election this year. President, President Trump blasted Sessions' decision to, to use Horowitz, saying he appointed a Obama guy to investigate potentially massive FISA abuse. Horowitz also is investigating former FBI Director, Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, or whether he wanted to avoid taking action on new Clinton emails found on disgraced Democratic New York Representative Anthony Weiner's laptop, the report said. According to records, McCabe knew about the emails belonging to Hillary Clinton in September 2016, but did not choose to brief former FBI Director James Comey until a month later, October 26, 20, uh, 2016, prompting the reopening of the Clinton email investigation just one week before the presidential election. While we have confidence in the Inspector General for the Department of Justice, the DOJ IG does not have the authority to investigate other governmental entities or former employees of the department, the Bureau, or other agencies, Gowdy and Goodluck wrote. Trey Gowdy also serves as a chairman of the House Oversight Committee. They added, some have been reluctant to call for the appointment of a special counsel because such an appointment should be reserved for those unusual cases where existing investigative and prosecutorial entities cannot adequately discharge those duties. We believe this is just such a case. Good luck. We penned a letter to Sessions in July 2017 and September 2017 calling for the appointment of a second special counsel. Received only one response from the Justice Department suggesting that Sessions had directed senior federal prosecutors to investigate matters involving the, the Clinton Foundation and the sale of Uranium One leaving the door open to consider whether the matters merit the appointment of a special counsel. House Intel Ranking Member Adam Schiff of California, who recently released a Democrats' response memo, 
said the call for a second special counsel was a way for Republicans to investigate everything but what is most important, Russia's interference in our election. House Overseas Ranking Member Elijah Cummings of Maryland also called the letter an attempt by Republicans to protect Trump. Cummings added, the department's inspector general is fully capable of conducting an independent review. Here in Congress, our attention should be on investigating how Russia attacked our electoral process, not trying to protect President Trump. Gulak and, and Gowdy's letter came just days after more than a dozen other House Republicans penned a similar note requesting the appointment of an independent counsel to investigate the same issues. The 13 lawmakers signed onto the letter that stated, Evidence has come to light that raises serious concerns about decisions and activities by leadership at the highest levels of the Department of Justice and the Federal Bureau of, of Investigation regarding how and why the Clinton probe ended and how and why the Trump-Russia probe began.